interestingly, Neil, about 50-50 or so, according to the mayor. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Casey, very, very much. Casey Stiegel. You know, the president, the mirror of yeah. comments he was making today, just said something a few minutes ago that startled a lot of people. I want you to listen to this. Mexico's going to pay for the wall. Do you think they're going to write a check for 20 billion or 10 billion or 5 billion or two cents? No, they're paying for the wall in a great trade deal. All right. Uh, this is an Abbott and Costello thing, but that is not exactly what you said in the past. Take a look. We will build the wall and Mexico will pay for the wall. And Mexico will pay for the wall. I will have Mexico pay for that wall. Mark my words. We will build the wall. And who is going to pay for the wall? All right. Uh, what he said is it was very consistent throughout the campaign, whatever you make of it. And of course, it lit up his base by saying that the Mexicans were going to foot the bill for this, whether you want to call that writing a check or whatever. He was very, very clear consistently. Uh, in fact, constantly saying that the Mexicans were going to pay for this. Uh, but, you know, he's not the only one who has played fast and loose with comments made versus comments now made. Uh, Democrats are fast and loose with this when it comes to the issue of border security. Not a big deal right now. But it used to be. Take a look. People who enter the United States without our permission are illegal aliens, and illegal aliens should not be treated the same as people who entered the U.S. legally. It's a terrible symbol. And symbols matter. We want the symbol of America to stay as the Statue of Liberty, not a big concrete wall. You know, if that's a part of a comprehensive immigration bill, is not something that I would be automatically against. A, a wall is an immorality. It's not who we are as a nation. Fair and balanced. You see the consistent sort of dancing on our, uh, around this issue. Uh, it, both sides play this game. But it's almost as if neither realizes that we have digital tape, video, audio tape, quotes that are easily retrievable. Both have said things that have locked them into positions that they now are claiming a 180 from. The president, when says that Mexico would pay for the wall, apparently he didn't mean it. Democrats saying there is no crisis at the border, when apparently little more than a few months ago there was. Peter Ducey on Capitol Hill on why that makes resolving this government shutdown so difficult. They're locked into positions that they didn't even have little more than a few months ago. Peter's on Capitol Hill right now.